Wall Street is trading on an optimistic note in this month. The S&P 500 closed last week at a new historic high for the fifth time in January. The trading volume was low on a Friday. Pressure on the high-tech stocks pushed the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq to incur intraday losses. This trading week is full of high-impact events and the Federal Reserve is due to announce the first policy decision this year. More top U.S. companies are due to report their corporate earnings. You'll watch the daily review of the U.S. financial markets with me, Kate Stichina. The S&P 500 closed with a 0.07% down tick on Friday at a level of 4,890 points. The Dow Jones was the only Wall Street index to close in the green. The benchmark stock indexes traded in the sleepy mode in the New York pre-market. Futures on the stock indexes wavered between 0.12% dip and 0.1% uptick. The S&P 500 is expected to trade in the intraday corridor between 4,884 and 4,907 points. The U.S. Commerce Department reported on Friday that the PCE price index, the Fed's preferred inflation barometer, rose moderately in December, and the annual inflation rate has been stuck below 3% for a third month in a row. This is widely argument for the Federal Reserve to begin monetary easing this year. In a separate report released on Thursday, the annual U.S. GDP expanded much stronger than expected in the final quarter of 2023. And this upbeat data proves the likelihood of a soft landing for the U.S. economy. Despite the strong data, the S&P 500 halted its five-day winning streak on a Friday in the light of a weak report by Intel. The company's shares plunged by 11.9% to the lowest level in six weeks, on the back of a poor revenue forecast and a weak market for PCs. All in all, despite closing in the red on a Friday, the three major stock indexes recorded growth for three weeks straight. S&P 500 added 1.06% last week, and the Dow Jones looked a weekly gain of 0.65%. The Nasdaq rose by 0.94% last week. Futures on the Wall Street indexes traded quietly in the New York pre-market in anticipation of a crucial events, including the Fed's policy meeting and the corporate reports by high-tech giants. Traders are going to play safe ahead of the key events starting on a Tuesday. And today, both the macroeconomic and corporate calendars Look spurs like in mm, meaningful events. More corporate reports will follow on Tuesday and they will come under investors' scrutiny, especially after disappointing forecast from Intel and Tesla, which revived concerns about excessive market optimism. Microsoft, Alphabet, Apple, Meta, Amazon.com, ExxonMobil, Chevron, Qualcomm, Merck, Pfizer and other are going to provide their financial records this week. With the stock indexes at all-time highs, any disappointments from market leaders will trigger increased volatility. The highlight of the week will certainly uh, be the first meeting of the Federal Reserve this year and the Powell's press conference. With the recent data pointed to a resilient economy and a downtrend in inflation, investors cheers uh, hopes uh, for the Fed's monetary easing, although traders have made little change uh, to future rate bets, opting to wait out uh, the meeting. The market is alert to important jobs reports coming up, including Tuesday's Joltis job openings, ADP national employment and the non-farm payrolls. 
in the currency market, major currencies are given in to the stronger US dollar. The euro is um, making the heaviest losses, and the US dollar is opening the week with a modest growth. Its index was trading at 103.60 at the time of recording this video, 0.19% up. The instrument is likely to trade in the intraday Canada between 103.30 and 103.80. And today the US dollar index is trading steadily. It's hovering at around 103.83, a six-week high printed last week. The index is on a track to close in January with a 2% gain as traders are moderating expectations for an early rate cut in a match. The Federal Reserve surprised markets in December with its dovish rhetoric. As a result, investors predicted the first rate cut in March. At the present, they have revised the forecast, and the market expects the first rate cut by 25 basis points in May. The consensus suggests that the U.S. central bank is poised to keep high interest rates for longer, but will express its readiness to lower them. Investors will focus on the policy statements following the meeting and remarks by Fed Chairman Jerome Powell, and the Bank of England is widely expected to maintain its borrowing costs on a Thursday but soften its stance on inflation. The Canadian dollar is asserting its strength despite the advance of the greenback and the decline in the oil prices. Meanwhile, the loonie has been creeping higher, and the USD CAD pays a trading at 1.344 uh, before. For the opening bell, 0.05% down. The intraday Canada for the currency pair is seen between 1.3420 and 1.3468. A drone attack on the US forces in Jordan has fueled fears of supply disruptions in the Middle East, while Houthi militants have stepped up strikes in the Red Sea. And this instability continues to affect the volatility in the oil prices, which today have already managed to rise and pull back. By the time of recording this video, both oil benchmark rates had entered the red zone and declined by 0.6 and 0.8%, putting extra pressure on the loony. Meanwhile, the crypto market is trying to tackle sell-offs. Popular digital assets are trading sluggishly and in different directions, and Bitcoin is trying to settle above 40,000 again after Friday's growth and the successful weekend. The token opened a new week at 42,070, or 0.2% higher. At this stage, it's still difficult to say whether Bitcoin has completed its correction after the landmark January 11, when spot Bitcoin ETFs were approved by the regulator and the crypto spiked to a high of about 48,900. Some analysts are confident that the asset has yet to trade below 40,000 and only from $35,000 it will begin a confident recovery. Other analysts are noting uh, the search and activity from Wales, who brought the number one crypto at a discount. At the end of the last week, they accumulated tokens in the amount of $3 billion. InstaForex analysts project uh, the intraday Canada for Bitcoin between $41,700 and $42,700. If the price settles above $42,000, the token may climb to retest the levels of $43,200 and $44,000. An alternative scenario suggest a fall to $40,238,700. Our review of American markets is over. Subscribe to InstaForex TV channel and we will keep you updated on daily market developments. Financial markets offer ample trading opportunities. Good luck in your trading and see you online tomorrow.